tougher rules could be on the way for distracted drivers. A South Carolina lawmaker is proposing a bill that would ban drivers from holding a phone in their hand. It also would quadruple the current fine for the state's texting ban. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith is joining us live in Spartanburg County with details on this. Nikkel. Yeah, Tom and Amy, you all may remember back in 2014, South Carolina lawmakers passed a texting ban, but one representative says it's weak. He says it does not do enough to actually address the issue of drivers being distracted behind the wheel. The current texting ban is almost useless. So. The same device we use to interview Representative Bill Taylor is the one he says is also costing lives. People who drive distracted are potentially worse than drunk drivers. The Republican from Aiken pre-filed a bill tackling what he calls DUIE, driving under the influence of an electronic device. I think it's a problem, and I've been on the road, and people have, like, Cut, cut me off texting and driving. And Taylor says South Carolina's 2014 texting ban with its $25 fine yields about 1,300 violations each year. That's next to nothing. He says it's too hard for law enforcement to crack down on drivers. An officer has to stop you for another violation and then confront you about using your cell phone as a texting device and all you have to do is deny it. The new bill bans drivers from holding a phone in either hand. Especially with um, all the technology we have because you don't necessarily need to pick up your phone in order to text or to make a phone call. Karsten Booker says raising the fine to $100 for a first offense may be too far. I'm sure that's a good way for the government to make revenue but you know for ordinary people that could cause hardships. Taylor says distracted drivers should pay the price for risking other people's lives. I guess if you want to kill yourself that's personal liberty but please don't kill my family, my grandchildren or anyone else. And Representative Taylor says that after the second time or more drivers could possibly face a fine of $300 and points on their driver's license. He says that information will also get reported to insurance carriers as well. So Representative Taylor says eventually these drivers could end up losing their driver's license. But you can read a lot more about this legislation by looking for this story on WSPA.com. Reporting live in Spartanburg County, Nikkel Smith, 7 News. Yeah, we'll see where that measure goes in the upcoming session. Thank you, Nikel. Greenville City leaders banned handheld devices behind the wheel a few years ago, but like all the other municipalities across South Carolina, the state texting ban overruled those local laws.